gehad. Holy moly! Okay, 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 rolling. I, I get it, man. Yo, there's not a lot of people that can can perfect that that deep raspiness, of, that unique voice that I was just talking about on the last time I paused. Like, it, and this guy's got it, man. He's got that deep, raspy, and, and it's beautiful. You know, it's very, very nice. His cadence, his flow, everything about it in this song is beautiful, man. That, his voice control is insane. Like, I just wish, I, like, imagine just waking up and being able to sing like that, man. Imagine. It would never happen. But I'm just saying, we can imagine... This, I'm sure he's worked very hard. Like I said, I, I want to hear his story, man. I want to I want to see how he's made it to this stage, you know. Man, oh man, I've missed him so much. I have been eagerly awaiting the return of Roland Abati back on America's Got Talent. Oh man, oh man, I want to see him go all the way. This man is incredible. He is a gift to music. His voice, his voice. This is a fisherman from the Philippines. This, no, 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 no. This is a superstar in disguise. So good, his voice control. He just masters it. He can just take any, he knows that's gonna be like a raspy note and just grabs it and just rocks it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, for real. Damn! He even threw in the, like in the middle of the holding the long raspy note. It is incredible. It makes it look easy. Oh my god. I, I wanted to pause it for so long. He's gonna go into another crazy note right here. I wanted to pause it for so long just to talk about how insane it is that he does such a beautiful, raspy, powerful voice, belting it, and then right into the head voice flawlessly. Honestly, I was mesmerized by how he did it, man. Stunned is a perfect one. I was stunned. I was genuinely so stunned. I didn't even know where to pause it because I just wanted to let him go. Let him just continue on. What a voice. Let's see what he does here. And his voice is so good. And it's like you take this incredible angelic voice and you just pour some gravel in it like you put some rocks in it or some sand in it and it adds that grit that rasp that layer that texture and it's just it's so awesome not not only because like i said i really love his voice but i really really um enjoy and love his humbleness you know how how um he has an amazing voice he could be like okay yeah i can sing whatever he's not you know and he deserves some slap you know how you say it those high notes coming coming from that rasp and that power to those very clean pure crisp sounding high notes dude that's like a flip of a coin night and day i love how he's able to hit on both sides Oh. That was the best part. That was the best part of the whole performance. Loved it. All right, that was that was freaking amazing. Let me tell you something. This is the real test right here. See, uh, picking a song which will suit your voice and singing it is one heck of a task. And picking a song which is which is different from your voice and to kill the song like that is totally a different different beast right here so uh, i really appreciate roland and i think this song really uh hit a jump for him rather than backfiring him so i'm really excited to listen to his uh, next audition or that like next performance and i'm pretty sure philippines is with them and so I'm with him as well. I'll be promoting all his stuff. Uh, Love you. Love you. you know what? 
it takes some courage, man. Takes courage to do this song, especially as a dude, and especially with just you and the guitar. <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> big time vocal, big time performance, and to do it with just him at the guitar, I thought that was great. And I agree with with everything that they said, man. I think that, I don't know all of the rules of the competition, but apparently they can put through two. I think that, I think that Roland just absolutely killed it right there. And I think he deserves to go through and he pulled it off, man. A tough song with a scaled back arrangement and he pulled it off. Thank you would think that there is a lot of space for it to fail. There's a lot of space for it to go wrong because physically speaking, he's working against the, the law, the physics of singing. And it's the beauty of that vulnerability of that on unpredictability of mm -hmm. his technique that allows for it to be such a, a, a impact. It contains that unique sound that makes him recognizable but in specific songs like ballads and things like that sometimes that his own style his own recognizability might come might him in the ass yeah. because yeah. you need to exert perhaps more effort you need to utilize different techniques it's more it's, it's way more exhausting physically speaking too but he's a good example of someone who has really figured out a way to become super comfortable and settled in his own way of singing mm -hmm. through many miles and through many hours of singing and then be able to pull it out of the bag with very difficult songs in the moments that really matter. I so, also do think that given the, the nature of this competition, you only get one song. You only get a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes max to really uh, place your case. Variety of ways here yeah, and variety of notes he hit here yeah, throughout his song on the U. On to you, he's done it in so many different ways here. High, low, whatever which way here, he's done it and he's done it very, very well. And this performance has actually showcased the variety of ways in which Roland Abante can sing, you get me? So listen, I think he should be proud of himself. I think he's made the Philippines proud. I think he's made his family proud. And um, look, regardless of what happens, I think um, he's got a big, big future ahead of him. So, Like I mentioned, this is a very difficult song. Um, for him doing this, I'm really impressed because his voice is rel relatively low, so the range was unexpected. Uh, I know that he has got a good range, right? But still, for a song like this, it's difficult to get those notes right. The first, with that, I will always love you, the way he did it, the first time I thought, hmm, I've seen better performances. But then he came back and he surprised me. The second and the third time were amazing with those high, um, yeah, in Dutch once again, it's called zuiver, like clear vocals. For his voice being raspy and having those nice high clear vocals that's meant to be for this song was amazing, right? And the cover is supposed to be your own interpretation. It's entirely different, uncomparable to Potriarianis, but they're both amazing in that sense. And but once again, risky choice of a song, but still, he managed to actually nail it with no mistake. Oh yes! Love you. Oh my god, Roland! That rasp in his voice is so freaking natural. It's so natural. I know I said this earlier. I definitely feel like he has the capability to do some metal screams just because of how raspy he can get his voice and that breaking point. But man, he's got power. A lot of freaking power with his voice. So much, in fact. And it's like hearing him hit those falsettos, I was like, where? Is he going to go with this? Because I know that there are those freaking ridiculous highs that Whitney does that I'm like, how is he going to do this and get past his rasp? But you can hear him shift gears from the really powerful rasp that he's doing into that falsetto and really getting that clean break up there. That was so good. That was so freaking well done. I don't know how this song is going to work for him, man. But whenever he nailed those notes, dude, what? Rod knows what he's freaking doing with these song selections because Whitney Houston, if you heard his voice and then you heard 
like, oh, he's going to sing a Whitney Houston song. I was like, like, if there's a full band there, I think it would have been done better. But like with that solo guitar, I just I am so surprised by how that how good he crushed that actually.